Everybody looks okay in here. Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dearman. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Wednesday, February 12th. And as you can see, it is well, it's windy, or you can hear the wind. And it's whiteout conditions out there. The wind is just howling and it is cold. So, yes. So, I hope your day or your weather is better than our weather that we're having right now and uh yeah and guys please uh, one more thing here before i get going too is please don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button i really appreciate it and uh thank you if you did i really appreciate it so yeah anyways i just forgot to come up here and check on these guys make sure everybody's okay in here and nobody's doing anything I think most of everybody that's calved well there's nobody real close but you just gotta check on the dry cows and make sure just in case sometimes animals sometimes they can have premature calves they can be born early sometimes so you just never know anyways what are we gonna be doing here today not a lot of things probably um, I do know we need to bed these guys. Get a cornstalk bale probably bed in here today. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. And other than that, just going to focus on chores and then try to work some more on taxes. <clears throat> just, I didn't get anything done yesterday. I know I didn't do a video um, on Tuesday because it wasn't a lot of exciting things, but we had to go to town for something important yesterday. Some business, farm business we had to take care of in town. And, uh, so that took up a little bit of time during the day. So, and the milkman came last night. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to fit all the milk in the barn or in the in the milk tank. This morning's milk would probably wouldn't have all fit in there. So I'm glad he came last night. They were just gonna park the trucks so they take their milk down to St. Paul, Minnesota. Sometimes, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, it just depends on where they they need the milk to go. And so they were just gonna hold the milk overnight, and nobody was gonna go out. They just, you know picked up everybody that they could so that they could hold all the milk for one day. The storm is supposed to last and yeah, just it's supposed to get better tomorrow so it's, it's one day deal so anyways not a lot and I probably might stretch this video out just to forewarn you I might stretch this video out for two or three days maybe more I don't know maybe not that much but I'll try to keep it a little bit shorter I know the last one got a little bit long but so um, with that all said um, I, go, I gotta go back down to the barn. We gotta go milk some cows and uh, <sighs> enjoy the beautiful weather we're having today. Yeah, that's 391. Not pretty out there. Not pretty. So I'm just we just got done with the milking, and I am going to uh, go and uh, I got a pl I've been a plug the snowblower tractor in here just in case, just in case, and just in case we need it. So I'm gonna get the tractors warming up here. 20 the loader tractor then I'm gonna go grab a corn stock bale so we can bed um, bed in the pole barn and uh, 
it's not gonna be fun out there in that wind oh man is that wind howling this camera doesn't do it justice to how bad it really is out there you just you just That. I was gonna take this gravity box, put it out, get it out of the yard, and uh, just put it out there in the hay field so that it's not up here and in the way. That's the last thing we need is to have, have that thing up here and in the way and catching snow. If it's gonna catch much snow, but it's just. It's just one more thing you got to worry about hitting, backing into with the feedway and or not, or hitting with the tractor. But anyways, my brother, he's getting the dry cow shed, getting them bedded up, and I'm going to put the gravity box out there in the field. I don't know if you could see them or not, probably not, but I'm going to put them out there with the other ones and uh, continue on with the feeding. takes your breath away. Holy buckets. That wind is cold. Oh man. I'm gonna be glad when today is over. Let me tell you. Oh. It is a, it is not a nice day. Not a nice day. I guess this 
that thing warm thoughts today? Warm thoughts. Okay, everybody, um, we just got done fitting the barn and I'm just up by my house here, so I'm kind of in a windbreak. And you can tell the wind's going, the wind is going down and everything, but uh, yeah. So anyways, I think I'm gonna run this video going into the next day here. So I gotta grab a bite to eat and uh, tomorrow is gonna be less windy and still going to be a little bit cold but it's supposed to warm back up here again tomorrow's going to be thursday so yeah so i'm going to grab a bite to eat and then i'm going to go work on my taxes get all my expenditures or tax write-offs added up or keep working at it. it takes a little while it's a lot of stuff to add up a lot of stuff we got to do that do all that and then take our stuff in when we get all done getting everything added up, taking in the tax account, and uh, let him do his thing and see if I owe Uncle Sam any money. Hopefully not. <laughs> but, uh, yep, so anyways, I'll leave you with that view, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. hey good morning again everybody it is another day day is thursday february 13th yes it's nice and sunny the wind stopped blowing and i don't know it's still kind of cold out i don't even know what the temperature is but i know it's below zero it really doesn't feel like it's below zero, but it is because the wind ain't blowing. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just headed out to the shed to plug one tractor in. We just left the loader tractor plugged in all night because that's just obviously got a block heater on it and uh, a little 4020 that's on the feeder wagon has a tank heater, so that heats up the engine much faster than a block heater does. So. Yeah, what a difference. Let me check the temperature here. Oh, let's see. What do we have here for a temperature? It is saying it is around, I don't know, 13 below zero. 13, negative 13 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. So, it is chilly. And, I don't know, we left the snowblower tractor plugged in. Just in case somehow we need it. And uh yeah, <laughs> the thing is it's cold weather. We don't have any Nipco heaters at work right now. This one, the fan is stuck, that motor is something's gotta be the bearings out and I don't know. Cheap, cheap crap. Oh so anyway. Um, what do we got going on here today, this morning? Uh, we got to do milk testing here this morning. So, uh, the milk tester, he should be coming here any minute now. And uh, so, we're going to do that. And then, pretty much just work at chores. And, and then, pretty much work at chores. And then go back to keep working on taxes. And... Try to get that job done and out of the way for the year, which will be nice. And then when we get done with taxes, we'll go back to doing other, well, 
repair projects maybe or something maybe cut that tree down <laughs> i want still want to get that tree down boy i want to get that tree down i want to clean up some of these branches along here and make it look a little nicer a little more respectful respectable so anyways we're gonna go test the milk this morning Producing cow. She is giving this morning. Hey, bug eye, you're the top producing cow this morning. How about that? I just thought I better turn that fan on. It's been about a week since we've had it on last, and being it's so cold out today, I figure I better just turn it on. We obviously have to open the lid up in there because we don't have any vents on the top, so let the air come out. So I just open up a little bit, and we'll let that thing run probably the rest of the day just to get some cold, nice cold air through there. Just make sure the corn's gonna keep. I don't want it to, to spoil or anything if there's some of those spots that got to be 19, 20% moisture that was in the corn that didn't get, you know, just some small pockets and stuff. But anyways, yeah, we're done milking. I'm just getting ready to get going here with the feeding chores and uh, Cows did pretty good this morning for testing on milk. Um, actually, our top producing cow was the very last cow, or one of the last cows that we milked. Um, she was giving 114 pounds of milk per day. So, if you do, well, if you do the math on that, I figured out how many gallons that is. Let's see, 0.6 times. Let's see, I'm doing that wrong. I don't know why my brain is locked up. Oh. Right. Yeah, 13, about 13 gallons of milk. 13 gallons of milk per day. It should be given it some gallons. So, I think if I did my math right. <laughs> so, yeah, that other cow, she was 112, so, yeah. But, Overall, we had probably about seven or eight cows that were giving about 100 pounds or more of milk per day. So um, we were hitting every, it seems like it takes us until about February, March before, you know, we're hitting on all cylinders with the milk cows, getting the milk in it. So, yeah, it's not too bad. So yeah, we've, we've come up to milk, we're probably averaging the herd average, well, I don't know, it's probably pretty close to 65, 64, 65 pounds per head per day. That's the average, so not too bad. So anyway, I'm going to keep working at the feeding chores here and um, get that done and keep it moving.
My brother got out the snow blower there. I was blowing a little snow there. It was blue in there just a little bit yesterday. So he just went out and got the snow blower and cleaned that out just a little bit. Anyways, um, I am headed up to the yard. The loader here, I just got done putting on the haylage and the high moisture corn for the cows. And I am going to uh, drop this off by the barn so we can put the manger scraps in and then finish loading the feeder wagon and walk back up the hill and finish loading up the feeder wagon. Get the cows fed and then I can go back to uh, punching some numbers, working on the computer, doing my taxes. Get some of that done. Okay, everybody, we have reached the end. Well, you have reached the end of the video. And I decided I'm just going to end the video. I'm just two days worth of footage. Just do it that way. So, anyways, I just got done feeding the barn a little bit ago. I got to go up and work on my taxes. Grab a little bite to eat. Work on my taxes for a little bit. And then come back out and milk the cows. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to see if I get my wife to work on my help work on my taxes a little bit or get her trained in too she's she can do it my mom she used to help my dad with taxes and stuff like that so i think my wife i mean sometimes i've always been hesitant about having my wife do it because like i know what's what and you know and everything like that i know i had an uncle or my uncle is the one uncle is still alive he is still alive but he would never let his wife touch the tax work he always did it he did he said don't you lay a hand on that he would never want his wife doing that so <laughs> i know i'm kind of that way too and maybe i just need to get over that and just, just trust my wife and let her do a little thing and i guess i just have to go back over things and look it over and make sure that you know she made a mistake you know but i guess like i say my my mom used to do it for my dad all the time and i guess she did okay so but I'll see. I'll see if I get my wife to do it, help out a little bit with it. I guess it's not that hard, it's just adding up stuff. So, but anyways, I better go up there and get working on that. So um, tomorrow is Friday already, Valentine's Day. Yes. So I suppose I gotta do something tomorrow for my wife. It's Valentine's Day, so. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble in that department if I don't do something, a little something. Anyway. But yeah, so um, that's about it. So I've got milk testing done, and I'm glad the cows are coming up on milk. And um, another good thing is we got we finally got a check for our soybeans, so now we could pay down some, pay off some debt now with that money. So. Yeah, and just spend some more money again this year. Yep, that's how it goes. You just get one thing paid off, and you gotta spend some more money. But you gotta spend money to make money. Anyways, guys, that's it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and um, have a good night. Take care, and please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. Please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and. Um, I'll catch you later. Okay. 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 Well.